So a good practice session, a meditative practice session for this song, uh, the intro to Dust in the Wind, might be something like this. Hey, just start with some thumb bounces. Right? And I'm going to actually change the camera angle, or try to, and then just so you can see that elbow thing again, you know. How did I do that before? I think I just had it. Yeah, oh no, apparently not like that. Not like that either. I must have changed something. But something like, actually, let's see if I can do this with this guy. Yeah, all right. Oh, then it's too dark because I'm out of, I'm out of the light. But the idea is being that you can see my elbow moving and you're just tilting a little bit of the weight and letting it come back up like so. Tilt the weight back up and getting that to conceive of that as dropping the hand rather than pushing it down that's the key and so you do one and you go oh did that feel relaxed no not so much let's do it easier let's do it a little bit easier feel feel the weight dropping and then the weight of the elbow pulling it back up you know weight of the elbow there you can see the elbow a little bit and just feel your arm right and then once you do that, you know, you play around with that for a minute, then I would probably, hey, go visit your rest strokes. You know, I'm gonna go to the right hand. I'm gonna be like, oh, hey, go, set, pluck, relax, set. Just get in tune. And this is what makes it meditative and relaxing. Do one, then do it in your mind. Set, pluck, relax. Relax, you know, and then reflect, you know, that's the wine tasting part of it is just reflect on the last one. And then maybe some with the middle finger. Go back to the index finger, rest stroke, observe it, free stroke, reflect on it. See how slow I'm going? Rest stroke, free stroke, rest stroke free stroke. You can get a lot done with a lot fewer repetitions if you're fully present, right? And then, hold on, I can see you're playing. Are you watching what I'm doing? Are you present, Charles? Then work on that pinch. And notice that you have to work on making that part of that motion of that relaxing. Notice how after I do the pinch, the elbow comes back. So I'm making it part of that boing. I might have to go back to that boing. I wasn't paying enough attention to the left hand, so I got a little buzzy. See that? And then maybe just start, oh, maybe that's too much at first. Just do this. I'm building it up one thing at a time. <sighs> and then just stop for a second. Maybe build that all up again or start where you were. The closer you're paying attention, the better this is going to go. And the faster you're going to develop. But the trick is that this focus can be very relaxed and not this intense sense of focus where we're like, stand at attention you know, but you're actually just relaxing between, between each one. And then, okay, so you've done that for a while. So now go to the, go to the, the, the left hand, right? And focus on the, the left hand. And actually, I guess I'm going to need both hands to show you this. So, right, just grab the whole chord as a pinch. So if I show you the, the left hand, I'm just going to go like that. Maybe a restro, right? And and then play the next chord. And do that again, right? Because the brain likes to see stuff repeated to know what it is. And so therefore you're going, okay, there, that's what the first, first four bars do. I go first finger, open, fourth finger, Three is a magic number. Then maybe go to the second four measures. 
Oh. That one goes open. Third fret. First finger. Open. And do that again. Okay. Maybe put the first put the first eight bars together, so. It's even slower than I'm doing it now. And then, maybe, maybe, maybe. And certainly absolutely take a little break and chillax and then you could build it all up again or you could just work on take you could work on you know going back through the elements that you worked through or you could then work on the you know the the bars 9 through 12 and then 13 through 16 but the point is that I'm looking at the different elements and I'm going very just I'm, I'm proceeding in a really relaxed pace just like okay that that and that's what a good practicing feels like because <clears throat> you you're actually really really paying attention the whole time it's not like you're like you're not in this mental gate race where you're like i got to do this and i got to do that and i got to do this and i got to do that and i got to get this part of the game and i got to get the okay i got 20 minutes i got to get this done you know it's it's that you're like i'm here now with each thing like i have that clock in the other room that all of the all, all of the numbers in the clock are replaced with now it just says now 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 and um the best the best story about this is like the greeks have two words for time one is chronos which is quantity time and that's chronometer it's like a clock and the other is kairos and that's quality time we call it flow now and the way that i'm showing you how to do this is a way of engendering the flow state in your mind so that you're fully present is that you're looking at one thing at a time and you're just doing that and you're not doing anything else you're just there and then you you know use a little mental rep to reflect on it and you're gradually going to pick up the pace with that training yourself to do that in practice is key for this it's absolutely essential one thing that can also be helpful for this, a helpful tool, is to say, okay, you tell yourself, well, I got 20 minutes to do this before I got to shut it down because I got to hit the rack. So I would actually set an alarm on your phone for 20 minutes and let the phone be in charge of when you stop. Because then you're not sitting there the whole time like, oh, wait, has it been 20 minutes yet? Has it been 20 minutes yet? And then that distracts you. You'd spend the whole time or half your time thinking about like, am I out of time? Rather than just being like, okay, the phone's got it and I'm just going to be fully present. I can't tell you how useful that tool is. Absolutely.